was really hot for them all weekend. You, know, you talk about you know kind of how he carried them a, a little bit. Yeah, it's really funny. You know, Squires I thought was their guy catching and stuff because he opened the series up, but more became Cottom as he came in and had a couple you know good at bats and stuff like that. And yeah, I thought he had the big at bat tonight. That ball off the right field wall. I thought that was a big at bat with us being the home team. And you know, even though they got the home crowd with them, there's still some pressure that goes with that as well. And uh, but. Uh, I told their hitting coach, their hitting coach, I don't know his name, but their hitting coach, I told him that was one of the best offensive clubs, probably the best offensive club we saw all year. They are not only a great offensive club with explosion, they're very disciplined. I think I think the hitting coach for Kentucky has done an unbelievable job with that, with that group of kids. They're very good, very disciplined. After you guys fell behind seven, in the seventh, you guys went one, two, three in the seventh, one, two, three in the eighth, one, two, three in the ninth. What do you attribute that to? Was it starting to press? Was there, was there a panic? That Je- all, all attributed to Jelly. One thing, Jelly, he was that good. <laughs> Actually, I felt pretty good about everything. Until Jelly was just like, I felt good when he came in. I thought of 107 pitches on Friday. I didn't think he'd be that good. And, you know, I'm sure they, I think they had Pop warming up down in the bullpen. I'm sure they weren't sure. But I thought Jelly was that good. I thought he was outstanding. So, no, we didn't press at all. We actually felt comfortable. And, uh, so we were swinging the bats good, and I'd been swinging it good all year. And uh, yeah, I just thought Jelly was that good.